we have uh, okay earlier i took three inputs but let's say we have two inputs only age one input is the age and other another input is the educational background and you want to predict the person's salary all right so what what is the learning part in the neural networks the learning part in the neural networks is the weights here and the biases so what happen in the initial stage when there is uh, when we only have inputs and the output as the data we randomly initialize this weights and the biases of the network okay and now in this simple perceptron case just imagine that there is only one neuron so we initially in uh, in, initially we will initialize this w1 and w2 and bias as let's say some random number okay just don't worry about it because the goal of the learning is that the learning it will automatically adjust the weights and biased to learn a complex to learn a function which will be able to like correctly uh, give you with some features the output that you want okay now here's the thing so in so what happens here in this you can see that in a neuron there is there are two parts one is this sigma and one is this activation part okay what happens in the sigma so first thing is that this input will get multiplied with the weights so x1 w1 and then a sigma means a sum right then x2 w2 means x2 w2 means x2 into w x2 x1 into w1 x2 into w2 plus b okay just like uh you know that equation of uh, uh, linear regression with two variables right it is theta uh, x1 theta 1 plus x2 theta 2 plus c something like that or x1 m1 plus x2 m2 plus c so at that time what you learn you learn the two slopes and one coefficient which is the intercept right here something similar is happening but you are learning them learning weights and biases now once you sum up this thing the equation will become like x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus b then the whole thing will be the activation some activation will be applied on the whole thing now i will come to explain what is this activation but just imagine that some uh, some more uh, some non linearity is added so non linearity means that let's say if earlier line was there some th some something that was getting learned was a straight line now it won't be a straight line but it will be a curve okay so and then there will be some output so the output will again now this output is not correct right because w1 w2 and b was random numbers so you cannot expect a correct output from the neuron uh, right the salary that we want to predict is not right so what will happen there will be the calculation of loss so this loss will be then traverse back to the network and then there will be some adjustment in the weights so then w1 will and w2 will get adjusted there will be some submission okay and then again this it again another iteration began and what will happen if the output is closer to what is the real output okay if the act, actual if the expected output or the observed output that we are receiving is closer to the actual output then we can then like we are going in the right direction and the weights will keep adjusting in that direction otherwise if summing up some okay i will come to this uh, it is actually the back propagation algorithm that i want to try to explain but here you don't have to worry about that much uh, complex mathematics just imagine that you are adjusting weights and biases to learn a function and how how you are doing it use you are able to calculate the loss here and then using that loss you are if you know a little bit about machine learning right i hope you all guys know about machine learning so using the optimization algorithms like gradient descent you are able to calculate how much uh, weights and bias i need to adjust and this is how simple perceptron model works